All right, let's tip things off with a little POU women's basketball. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see what Clever you did producer. there. Mm. All right, POU took on Whitworth on Friday night. Uh, the Lutes trailed 39-23 at halftime, but the team was able to make this game close in the second half. Lacey, how'd you do it? How'd your team do it? You had help, obviously, but you were part of it, so so you should tell us how it happened. A big part. Uh, I would say we started pressing in the last five minutes of the first half, and that really rattled the point guards of Whitworth, and we actually <clears throat> ended the game. PLU only had 14 turnovers, which is a small victory for us, and Whitworth ended the game with 27 turnovers, so mm -hmm. we, for we were able to force 27 turnovers, um, and get some cheap buckets that way. We actually ended up winning the second half, 27 to 23. Mm -hmm. um, what really killed us was coming out flat in the first quarter. We only scored six points to Whitworth's 21 points in the first quarter, and we just weren't able to come back from that. You dug your guys in the room. You guys a really deep hole. Yeah. 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 How often do you guys press? We actually don't press that often, uh, mm -hmm. um, but Probably. you can expect a little bit of it. Ooh. This weekend and against well, not a little secret. Wh Whitworth, Whitworth kind of threw the ball over the yard. They weren't ready for it. You could tell they weren't ready for it, and they just tossed the ball over the yard. Yeah, kind of like West Virginia last night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a basketball game, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen! But before we get on off on a tangent that Christian will kill me for, let's get back to PU yep, yep, basketball. Yeah, yep. <laughs> PU ended up losing to Whitworth seventy-two to sixty on Friday night. <laughs> Uh, then on Saturday, the Lutes took on Whitman, and it wasn't as close as, as uh, the game against Whitworth was. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. sorry, go Christian. for it. <laughs> no, go. Dude. No, it. Uh, I was there, and it wasn't close. Like, <laughs> final score was seventy-three to forty-three. Um, the Lutes did battle though, and I believe that was Breast Cancer Awareness Night, so they were all rocking their their pink things. Um, Whitman shot thirty-nine uh, percent. On the night, um, they they beat PLU in that stat uh, because PLU only shot 28%. Whitman was also 29% um, from three, and PLU was only 15% yeah. from three. Um, Just, you know, X's and O's and everything else aside, if you shoot sub 30% from the field, you're not yes. going to win too many games. Yes. We, we Trust me, men's basketball we'll has, get learned, to that. has learned that the hard way <laughs> in a couple second halves. Yeah. And our very own Lacey Nicholson was the high scorer with 11 points, um, three rebounds, a couple other interesting stats. Uh, Mackenzie Cooper had five rebounds as well. She was the uh, high in that category. But yeah, um, and when you and when your leading rebounder is your sure. second string point guard, <laughs> who only has five rebounds, yeah, that's a like struggle. total on the season maybe. 11 we, and three is rough. Uh, we were definitely out rebounded. Um, out rebounded by 26 boards. That is a ton, and that <laughs> ultimately gave Whitman 23 second chance points, um, which killed us. I mean, Whitman's a solid, huge team, um, but that's no excuse. Rebounding is hustle and effort. So the Lutes were 100 percent from the free throw line. Just want to add that six for Four. six. <laughs> six for six. <laughs> Small victories. Hey, right? but that's in the rearview mirror. Uh, the Lutes. Hope to win a couple games here against UPS and Linfield on Friday. Mm -hmm. That's right. Should be should be some pretty good games here coming up this week. 